mistake most people do. They look at Mossad as an organization the kind you know, as organizations that have worked and that have to answer to something. The Mossad, I don't know how to explain this to you, but the Mossad is above that. The Mossad is beyond that. I was talking to somebody today and I said, people in the Mossad are called little gods. And Mossad people are gods. That's the problem. You see, a lot of people conceive them and say, yeah, well, yeah, they think they're gods and people think that. No, no, they don't think they're gods. They know they're gods. That's where their power comes from. They can do anything they want and nobody will stop them. I do this in a way because I know that they can't touch me. Because I was one of them and I was instilled with that feeling. So just remember there are people like me that are not afraid of them and they're the scariest group out there and there is nothing that eats them. I mean there are animals in, in the wild that multiply and nobody can touch them because nobody can touch them. And the only way to stop them, and which is what we're talking about here, is to cut away their food. And they're feeding on the U.S. And the only way you can stop the Mossad is stop the money going to the Mossad. Now when you stop the money going to the Mossad, that's not enough. You have to stop the people from buying drugs in the U.S. Because that part of that money also goes to the Mossad. So you got a bigger job in front of you than you can imagine. And you should think twice if you want to take it. Because 